Rising sea levels could significantly increase tsunami risks, potentially hitting up to 15 ports at once. That's the chilling forecast from a new study which warns that swelling water levels could cause greater disruptions to shipping routes than past tsunamis. As CNA's Rachel Tang finds out, experts are now using AI to boost preparedness. On Boxing Day 2004, the Indian Ocean tsunami claimed at least 200,000 lives across 14 countries. It marked one of the deadliest natural disasters in history. Yet their memory continues to drive efforts to safeguard lives today. It drew attention to how natural hazards can move into disasters because of the number of people that are vulnerable, particularly in coastal settings throughout Southeast Asia. And so it's triggered 20 years of fundamental research in natural hazards that perhaps might not have happened. After the devastation of the tsunami, experts were left grappling with urgent questions. Why was it so massive? Had it happened before? And how could warnings be improved? Now, thanks to advancements in technology, many of those answers are finally coming to light. There's been a significant shift in recent years to use AI to try and make predictive models of what would likely happen in the future. And so you can run thousands and thousands of models uh, of potential tsunamis in the future and run them to a coastline and see what the inundation would look like. Sophisticated computer models can now forecast the impact of future tsunamis on local economies and global trade. These models also confront a growing challenge climate change. Rising sea levels, shifting tides and intensifying weather patterns are amplifying the risks like never before. Certain of these extreme events are also taking place in regions that were not used to extreme events in the first place. And obviously these regions are particularly vulnerable to extreme weather events, uh, and specific categories of these extreme events because they don't have the tools to actually um, address or face these uh, disasters. He warns that heat waves and intense rainfall will lead to more frequent disasters, with extreme rainfall triggering floods, landslides and crop failures. To better prepare communities, Dr. David Teo from International SOS says early warning systems are key. Pre-travel is very important to warn uh, travelers who are going to such location, right? Uh, basic information of disaster, at least they know what to look out for and how to self-help, you know, the first half an hour to one hour, right, get out into a safe place, right? And of course, uh, on the other hand, for companies per se, right, uh, able to have information flowing out to them through the phone or through a warning system. Increasingly, mental health support is a point of focus, not just for the survivors. I thought I'm very seasoned, right? By right, I do need psychological help, but not through. Each time, you know, the more I do, sometimes I come back, middle of the night when I wake up, I feel the bed shaking away. I wake up in cold sweat. This is one of the reasons why our company and also many of them believe that mental health uh, preparation and also post-vision psychological, right, to prevent PTSD assessment and help is very important. New technologies are being developed, including tsunami buoys capable of detecting changes in water depth far out at sea and relaying data to control centres in under a minute. Yet, Dr. Teo emphasises that the real challenge lies ahead, making these life-saving tools accessible to the countries that need them the most.